So now let's talk about relationship in Salesforce. Every relationship is meaningful, be it offline or be it online, right? And the same is the case with Salesforce. I want you to take a look at these few examples I have put on the screen and think about what kind of relationship do you think those two entities have between them? The first example is hospital and patients. Yeah. The second example is company and employees or one employee. All right. The third example, company and a contractor or maybe someone who's working part time for the company, not a full time. The fourth example is again hospital and a physician, maybe a doctor or a care provider. The fifth and final relationship example is bank and credit cards. Take a moment, think about the examples that are given and think about what kind of relationship is it is. I want you to think on just one specific line. Are they, is one of them completely dependent on the other, right? So just see which of the examples tell you that, okay, without the first one, the second one will not exist. Or maybe without the second one, the first one will not exist. Just try to think on those lines. All right. Cool. Let's with that, with those examples in mind, let's understand the two primary relationships in Salesforce that caters to pretty much most of the relationships that we'll have to work with. All right, in our custom implementations. The two of them are master detail and lookup. The first one is master detail and the second one is called a lookup relationship. These are the two kinds of relationships you can create in Salesforce. All right. Now, before I start here, why, why do you, why Himanshu, why am I reading about relationships in a developer curriculum? This will help you write better code. I can assure you that a lot of stuff is coming up that is about writing custom code, but then this is one of the one of the important parts that will help you set up the foundation and let you write good code believe me right if you have your relationships sorted not in real life actually i'm just talking about the salesforce side you'll be able to write better queries you'll be able to understand queries and uh, result sets better and that will accelerate the way you write code all right jumping into the relationship the first one the first example i've put here is the bank and credit card example Okay, now I wanted you to think about whether without one, the other can exist or not. Here, if I were to tell you, if a bank shuts down tomorrow, will the credit cards continue to exist for that particular bank? No, no, right? They'll not exist. They'll cease to exist. And they'll also be shut down or closed or blocked or deactivated as soon as the bank goes down. Correct. What about the second example I've put here? Company and contractor. A contractor can work for one company, that's fine. But if the company shuts down, will the will the business of the contractor shut down? No. He or she can still choose to opt working for another company. Correct? So today if a contractor is working for about four hours for company A, he can choose to work for company B even if company A decides to shut down, remove him from the, resign uh, from the designation, does not want his services anymore. But the contractor can still exist. And just by this clarity, this understanding, you can actually define which kind of relationships would be master detail and which one would be lookup. It's as simple as that. All right. So master detail relationship is a tightly coupled relationship. All right. And it would be a one to many relationship, meaning you would have a master that is the parent and you would have children, which is the detail. That's why master detail. And it would be always one parent, multiple children. Correct. One child cannot have multiple parents, right? They can have a one set of parent only, right? So if you have one account, you have multiple contacts. If you have one, if you have, let's say one case, you might have multiple tasks below it, right? If you have, let's say one contact, you would have multiple contact roles, right? One to many relationship is basically nothing but one parent and multiple children. All right. And with master detail, the child cannot exist independently. That's the key identifier. That's the key differentiator from what makes this a master detail and what makes lookup a lookup. It can exist independently. Meaning if a parent is deleted, the child records are also the child records are also automatically deleted. The child cannot exist or stay without a parent. Those relationships are master detail, which is why bank and credit card. 
okay but here in a lookup the child can exist independently if the parent is deleted the child record can still exist they are not deleted automatically by the system all right whatever is the sharing and security policies whatever are the sharing settings of the child are inherited from the parent in case of a master detail so the credit card of a specific bank will host or hold all the properties of whatever that particular bank provides correct and it will be completely governed by the bank the, the credit card cannot itself create its own rules no it will all be governed decided and judged and assigned to the credit card by the bank correct but here in a lookup the sharing and security of the child is independent and can vary from the parent so if the company decides to work for 12 hours a day the contractor who's just part of the company not a full time employee or maybe just working for some consulting hours he can, he or she can work for just 3 or 4 hours per day the rules of the contractor or the model of working for the contractor is different than what are what are the company policies there might be some policies that the contractor has to agree but the contractor can still choose to have its own policies his own way of working her own way of working correct just giving an example so the sharing and security in salesforce of the child can vary from the parent in case of a lookup in case of a master detail you get a additional facility for roll up summaries what is this basically you can count the number of children you have you can sum up the number of revenue you have gotten from all the uh, opportunities under one particular uh, uh, record roll up summary is basically nothing but the aggregation count sum min max you can find these in this information by creating a field that is out of the box in case of lookup you don't get roll up summaries okay you have to go with a custom package like a dlrs declarative uh, roll up look, look up roll up summaries right not available from salesforce um, in the master detail the parent field has to be populated mandatory it is mandatory to populate a parent field why because the, when whenever you are creating a child record you have to mention who the parent is right because the child cannot live independently right you can consider this as an indian child until the age of 18 or 21 the child cannot live independently correct or maybe even for his entire life the child chooses to stay with the with, with the parents that's how the indian culture is correct in a lookup the stand the object basically does not have to be mandated or it will not be a required field you can choose to fill the parent you can choose to avoid and still create the record of the child all right so when you create a contact record let's say account field is mandatory that means a contact would ha will have to have an account correct that, that means it's a master detail you can consider it or let's say when you are creating a opportunity line item correct the opportunity has to be mandatory can a line item exist without a parent opportunity no that's a master detail relationship what about court and court line item court is the parent court line item is the child court line item needs a parent to exist correct but what if you want to create an opportunity without an account yeah go ahead create it so it kind of acts like a lookup relationship an individual can exist in the system as a contact does not need a parent account so not a master detail relationship relationship all right so these are the various examples wherein the way you can understand and define and differentiate who or which kind of records or which kind of objects would be part of a master detail and which ones would be part of a lookup now if i take you back to my previous page okay before that there's one more note here maximum 40 lookups per object are only allowed this is the governor limit of how many relationships can you have per object okay normally you don't uh, consume this level of relationships typically but yeah that's the upper limit and lastly standard object can be a child in the lookup setting all right but in a master detail you cannot make a standard object as the child so you cannot do something like there would be a master detail relationship and your custom object would be the master and a standard object would be the child you cannot do that but can you do that in a lookup yes so uh, an account or an opportunity or a contact or a case can be created as a child in a lookup relationship that's okay so if you have a custom object a you can create a child as the standard object you don't have to worry about it but in a master detail setting you cannot do that all right in a master detail relationship if you are using a standard object the standard object always has to be the parent it cannot be the child if you are using two custom object do whatever you want that's okay
all right and lookup there's nothing like that you can choose custom object as the parent you can choose uh, standard object as the parent and vice versa now that we have understood this i want you to take a look at the examples again and think about which of these fit a master detail relationship and which of these fit a lookup relationship and simply comment below saying example one or let's say hospital patient would be master detail because this and this company employee will be master detail because this and this and so on so just give me the answer for all the five i believe you have already used example three and five to understand so you already know the answer to this these three are the ones that i want you to comment below all right so don't proceed without commenting below all right now that you've commented below let's understand example one hospital and patients so it's all about how you look at a relationship correct a patient can exist with or without a hospital so if you are someone who has hypertension or let's say you are a diabetes patient god forbid not but if you are a diabetes patient uh, you can still exist you can still live right even if there is not if, if you if you're not associated with a hospital correct or let's say you are injured and you need to be treated you need to be operated and if one hospital does not decide to treat you can you still choose to go to another hospital yes so out of this which is the parent which is the child that's the first question that you need to assert hospital is the parent patients are the children one too many correct now look up or master detail can the patient exist survive go for other hospitals yes so this is a look up relationship okay you can choose to make this as a lookup relationship all right i hope example one you commented below the correct answer example two company and employee right an employee is a part of the company now there are two ways to look at it you can look at it the very first way i'll tell you how to look at it and now this is where when i say you look at it it's basically kind of defining how the business wants it so accordingly you create the relationship correct first way of looking at it the employee will cease cease to exist as in the staff number or the staff id or the employee id will no longer exist for that employee that association will be terminated as soon as the company shuts down if that's the case this should be a master detail correct so you can say master detail that's one way of looking at it so if business comes and says I want to create a relationship between two different objects and there's a hard dependency between who all are working with the company. Their contract should be immediately terminated if the company ceases to exist, which is true for all companies, correct? If that's the case, you create a master detail relationship, all right? But let's say the business says, even if the company ceases to exist, we can still keep a pool of the resources and give them to some other company and have them work as employees for another company in that case what does that mean that makes this as a lookup relationship why because the dependency on that one company does not exist anymore so you see how the nature of the relationship depends on the scenario that you are currently working on right here the example company is the parent employee is the child it is a one to many relationship but you can choose to make it a master detail or lookup based on what the requirement is what the demand is makes sense but Typically, this would be a master detail. We can just say master detail for now. It depends on how you thought about it. The third one, company and contractor, we already know this is a lookup relationship. And for bank, we already know this is a master detail relationship. The only one left is hospital and physician. So hospital and physician. Physician is nothing but a doctor or maybe a care provider, right? Again, similar to hospital and patient, will a physician be able to survive if the hospital shuts down? Yes, he can. He can choose to open his own clinic. He can choose to opt to work for another hospital. Yes. What does that make it? Correct. It makes it a lookup relationship. Hospital being the parent, physicians being the children, one to many relationship. It's a lookup relationship. All right. Awesome. So that's about the two key different relationship that salesforce hosts and lets you configure and these two are available when you create a field in salesforce right you can either go with a master detail or you you can go with a lookup if you see an object and you see that okay oh a field is mandatory cannot be removed from the page layout cannot be made read only why it might be a m m master it might be the parent correct so it would be a master detail relationship so you can understand that just by looking at it Okay, if it is a parent field, but it is optional. Oh, okay, it could be a lookup. 
so you can make that guess very easily cool those two things are clear awesome <laughs>